This is a special night, a celebration, a birthday party. Tonight, friends and family have come to support each other and enjoy being together. They share a common experience because this is a different kind of birthday party. The crowd is celebrating years of sobriety. These men are recovering alcohol, drug, and gambling addicts. But they've all had a life-changing experience because of Recovery Acres Society 1835 House. This house uh, definitely made a huge difference. I look back at where I was a year ago. I have a good friend here tonight uh, who I did a lot of damage to as a drug addict. Do anything and everything that you can. Listen to the counselors, listen to your sponsors. Calgary is a city of possibilities. Dreamers dream great dreams that are realized every day in this land of opportunity. A vibrant economy brings cash. Money brings increased social and business pressures. Some look for the thrill of success and good times. Others search for an escape in a bottle, powder, or pill. The explosive growth of addictions is alarming. The families hurt, you know, as they watch their loved one because it's People who really do their best to understand addiction know that this is not something that the person has chosen. And so they walk through this journey with their loved one and they see, they see the addict or the alcoholic hurting themselves over and over despite wanting change so badly. They miss their dad or their mom or their sister when they're out and we don't know, are they safe? Are, are they coming back ever to us? Addictions often lead to homelessness. Street people are disenfranchised and trapped in the cycle of poverty. Many vainly search for hope in a bottle or needle. But there's a place that offers real hope, a place that helps men overcome their addictions and make real change to reclaim their lives. 1835 Recovery Acres is not a shelter. It offers recovery programs, housing, and other supports to help addicts transition back into the community and productive living. I became uh, one of those homeless, hopeless alcoholics, uh, you know, nowhere to turn, nowhere to go, um, and alone, which is where addiction takes me. You know, coming into recovery, I have found a new way to live. Uh, 1835 has been a big part of that. These plaques represent 14,000 men who have been helped at 1835. There are doctors, lawyers, police officers, corporate executives, teachers, engineers, accountants, professors, and students. There are skilled laborers, unskilled laborers, actors, chefs, and technicians. Addiction knows no boundaries. It has no face. It does not discriminate, but it can be conquered. Recovery Acres is a safe place Residents discover balanced living as they prepare to reintegrate into society. Instructors teach courses like daily living skills and employment readiness. Each resident receives one-on-one -on -one counseling that is available 24-7. An important role of Recovery Acres is equipping residents with skills needed to manage the issues that led them into addiction. My addictions problem started about uh, when I was 17. Uh, with drugs and alcohol, I was uh, self-medicating from depression. Alcohol became a priority in my life. I lost all my friends. Uh, my family is all strange for me. <sighs> my daughter is a, a wonderful 20-year-old, very responsible, uh, dean's list at uh, University of Calgary. Doesn't drink or smoke, loves me, uh, but really, really doesn't like me when I've been drinking. I lost everything. Um, I lost my, my dignity, my wife. She didn't want me at home anymore. I lost my friends because they didn't want to be around me anymore. At 1835, the men also participate in group sessions in what's called God's Room, a place where men share together and pursue spiritual healing. 
difference 1835 has made my life is that they have given me the skills in order to go out and live as a sober, functioning member of society. Residents are treated with equality, respect, fairness, and non-judgmental attitudes. They're held accountable to each other, to 1835, and most of all, to themselves. Healing mentally, spiritually, and physically is key to the recovery process. Healthy eating plays an important role. Well, it's very important that they eat healthy. We encourage the good eating habits. Uh, we believe that's part of the treatment. Uh, if they eat properly and uh, have good nutrition, that promotes good body, soul, and mind. Recovery Acres operates our first-rate commercial kitchen that meets the nutritional needs of residents. It also makes possible special events like tonight's birthday party. Residents are required to work while in the program. Okay guys, we're gonna start getting ready for supper. Uh, what I need you to do is run those dishes through the, uh, through the dishwasher. Make sure they're good and dry when at the end. Stack them over at the front of the steam line there. The men are not given a choice about accommodations. And this is where the challenge lies. Recovery Acres is filled to capacity. It's crammed. There's no more room. I think the greatest impediment relates to access to treatment. They want to reach out and get into treatment, but what we have to do is tell them, that's great, but you're now going to have to wait weeks or months to get into treatment. And in addictions, you really want to strike while the iron is hot. The leadership team and board have taken a bold step. They've purchased prime real estate located on Center Street North at 29th Avenue. Breaking new ground is raising funds for a state-of-the-art facility that will help meet Alberta's need for more treatment programs for more people. But this is not just about bricks and mortar. Our vision is to create more space and enhance treatment programs that will enable more people to become contributing members of the community and their families. Reuniting families is what this is all about. My brother is a recovering addict and he has recently just been through 1835 Recovery Treatment Center in, in Calgary. Um, and it was actually really amazing for us. There was a breakthrough for our family because we've seen my brother deteriorate for many years. You're powerless. You're helpless in the sense that you cannot change their path, their journey. It is up to them to decide one day, hopefully sooner than later, before they hit rock bottom, that, you know, they want to make a change in their life. Well, I think there's many needs, but one of the most important is a very practical one, which is a bed, a place to go, a place to be safe. Love, friendship, companionship, just proven to these people that they are worth something. But does investing in addictions recovery programs really make sense? Practically every one of the participants in drug court that come into drug court come in without a job, without a home. They've lost family connections. They are using public services extensively. By the time they come out of drug court, because it is one of the requirements of graduation, they have a job. They are in a home. It's a win-win for the person and the, the people that are being hurt around them because uh, it makes more economical sense than to just put them in, in jail and let them rot. First thing is it's just a good thing to do. It's the right thing to do. It's something that will improve the fabric of our society. Addictions, not only from alcohol, but all have, have affected uh, my life as, as my job and my family. And of course, I, see, I saw what happened to their families and it, it, it hurts, it, it hurts bad to see it and you know it can be stopped. 1835 Recovery Acres is asking for your help to make breaking new ground a reality. Together we can help more men reclaim their lives. But there's more to the story. By helping us with the men's facility, you'll also help meet a second pressing need. As part of breaking new ground, the current building will be converted into a women's treatment center. Women are absolutely more vulnerable when they're living with addictions. There's so much more danger for women when, when they're desperate for their next fix or for their next drink. I just see such a need for more bed openings, more safe places for women. Well, I think Recovery Acres, or 1835 at this point, 
uh, does a fantastic job with our male population. Uh, they have a limited capacity, but they're very uh, effective in their treatment interventions and their approaches. I think in Calgary and southern Alberta, with the chronic influx of individuals uh, to our geographic locations, we need additional capacity, and in particular, we need more capacity for women. Now we see more and more women coming into the justice system with more serious offenses, and uh, the basis, though, seems to be the same in many cases, and that's an addiction to drugs. I feel free. I'm no longer dependent on drugs or alcohol. I even quit smoking. I didn't like the hold that those substances had over me. I felt like I was a prisoner and I wasn't, I wasn't myself. Recovery Acres' role is to equip, enable, and empower residents to succeed, to help them discover that there's an answer, there's hope, and hope means life. Everybody knows somebody who's been affected by addiction. Uh, they know from their own stories and uh, things that have happened in their families uh, what the cost is. And the cost isn't just money, the cost is uh, lost lives with children and uh, all the problems that come afterwards because people grow up without moms or without dads. Uh, there's uh, trauma always in addictions. Anybody that uh, dies from addiction dies traumatically. Nobody dies peacefully. It's, it's very upsetting. Will you help us? Will you stand with us in the fight against addictions? You can make a difference in the lives of these men, women, and their families. We need hundreds of partners, community leaders who share our vision and will stand with us as together we break new ground. You could be the aunt, the uncle, the mother, the father, the sister, the brother of somebody that needs help. You know, uh, I'm able to pursue my dreams. I've gone, done everything from flying a plane to climbing mountains to um, reaching back out to, to those in need. You wouldn't recognize me from where I was. Make the donation to 1835, period. It's such a great investment. <laughs>